All right, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how this wall right here has an invisible staircase. So let's go take a walk up the staircase. You got a little peek of what it was there. It's Athenor's. Because we all know that the collision of whoever created this 3D model, this is not the case of every 3D model in the game, but Athenor's in particular, they did a terrible job with the collision. It isn't tied around it in any way, and it's a pain in the butt. So, you have a couple options here. You can do what I show here, where it's visible but not visible. Oh my god, we got this big spiky cavern. I don't know what we're going to do about that. Eh, let's just walk up it. As you can see, I cannot even force myself down. No matter what I try, squat, jump, because the Athenor's collision around the, the square or the rectangle around the actual physical object is, is so large, you can actually walk on it. Just like it's a pair of staircases. Or, you can do just like I showed you, and use it as an invisible staircase. If you place it on the opposite of a single wall, it has to be a single, the collision isn't quite far enough for a double, so I'm going to show you real quick how you do that, what you need, Athenors, and enough wall space that you want to use for this little trick of ours. So let's take a little bit of wall space here. So I do this with snap on. It makes it a lot easier and you want to do it with the handles parallel to it because one side actually has okay collision this one right there on this side I'm down on the ground and the problem is can you remember when you put it in there which it is I don't think I'd be able to remember and then you get one messed up and you gotta go in the wall and fix it that would drive me crazy so we're gonna set it in the wall just like that you have two options you can do a really tight spread or you can do a really wide spread I kind of like the widespread because it gives me more distance with less Athenors. So what that's going to be is a total of the, the center block that it's on, three blocks in between, and then the block itself. So you got this block and we got one, two, three, and then the new block. Let's change that so it's more visible. So then we're going to go one, two, three, we're going to put a new block, we're going to go up one. So this one, the floor is the step. We go up one step, we go up another step. If you do it tight, you can kind of get it get away with two steps up and make it a more steep, but it has some issues. And so you would do two, two in between, and then up two. So two in between, up two. It can work, but I found there are some problems. So we'll go three, we'll go over, we'll go up one. Okay, so that is our set. Now we want to set these. Again, I have snapping on just to make it so much easier. At that point, I'm going to have to put in something to stand on because I won't be able to reach the others. go. And then we'll get this last one. Last one's a little hard to get sometimes. There we go. So now you can see the spread and you can see if I just walk along this perfect staircase. Now if I come over here I do the same thing perfect staircase. So you can do it truly hidden or you can do it semi-visible. Now, when you do it hidden, there's some cool tricks you can do with it. So if I come up here and I see where my... So there's one right here. So if I do like that, 
Okay, the Athenor is right there. And maybe I do color block there. Actually, let's let's do let's do a little more fancy. Let's do a copper block. Okay, let's find another Athenor. Let's go to this one. So it's right here. Yep, it's right behind it. So what I'm doing here is I'm giving visual cues. I know that if I'm over here and I jump over here, I'm up off the ground. It's not very far because I used one that was really low. If I jump right there, I'm up off the ground. You can do it so it's more at your feet where you place it, but this is a way that you can have a challenge if you make like a dungeon, for example, and you have this big old wall and there's no way, like you can't get across it by using your glider, you can't grapple across it, and you fall to certain doom because you've built it deep enough, you dug deep enough that they're going to take fall damage enough to kill them. So, you can put these cues on this wall, you happen to know that there's an Athenor on the other side of the wall, you put the cues, they run, jump over, and they land on nothing. Think of... Um, is it the Last Crusade, uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, where he goes for the Holy Grail, or yeah, the Holy Grail, and he he takes steps across what looks like it's empty, but it's actually a bridge that perfectly mirror looks as if it's the rocks below it, and then he ends up throwing some sand across so other people can see. Same concept. You can make visual cues as to where. Let's see, another one's right here. Now you can see right there, it's not going to let me place it above. So if I put it right here, this is actually a really good spot. Boom. You can also place them prior to putting your Athenor in there and get it really dead on so that your block is sitting exactly at the bottom, just like you do when you place the item when you're setting it up over here this way. So like when I set this up, I would have had a block here. I could also put that in the wall, and now I know that that is the base. So if I jump over to it, gotta jump high enough. I'm standing on the base. So that's that's a way you can give some really like super full on everything's hidden. You can't see a damn thing, and you can have yourself an invisible staircase. And I think it's very cool. I like this idea too, where the staircase is actually over a pit of spikes and whatnot. It makes it look really interesting. And if you did, you put these Athenors on this side on both of them, you'll have to shrink this in a little bit. So you can only go five wide. I don't think I got said that part in the beginning. If you have them on both sides, you can only go five wide. If you have them only on one side, Four wide is a stretch. There will be a few spots here and there where you can kind of still fall down, but three wide is perfect. However, if you have these on the outside on both of these, four wide works fine, and then you can literally have this as a fully, completely empty staircase going up because you would it would look like this on both sides. There would be nothing there. You would know the staircase is there, but no one else would, and that's cool. It, it gives you a way to get to upper spaces that nobody even knows is there. All right. Thanks for watching.